what's your goal for the next year or the next uh, six months even, or three years, five years, 10 years down the road? Where are you heading? What's your desired outcome for being so diligent with monitoring your personal finances? Hey everybody, it's me, AJ Golden, self-proclaimed money nerd and personal finance geek. And welcome to my channel, Personal Finance Made Easy. I created this channel to help you win with money by making concepts such as budgeting, saving, and investing simple and easy. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about how to stay the course when you're going through difficult times. Now, I know that we've gone through some challenging times over the last few days and the last few weeks and months. This is unprecedented times in our nation's history, but I want to remind you to stay the course. It's important that we keep our focus on our personal finances so that we make sure that we're able to weather these storms. And we can do it as long as we remember these three key basic points. But before I get to the points, I wanna remind you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Also, if you like these videos and the content that I've been providing, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know exactly what you think about these videos and what you've been getting from its content. Okay, without further ado, let's get into today's video. I've got three specific things that I want to remind you to do so that you can continue to weather this storm and go forward on your financial journey. I also wanna offer you a little bit of encouragement along the way, because I know it can get difficult as we're going through challenging situations to continue to focus on our finances. But if you can keep your finances front and center, you can make sure that you have a stable foundation to get through the difficult times that we're all facing that lies ahead. So what are these three points? The first thing I want to remind you is that you've got to continue to track your expenses. You got to know what you're spending your money on. If you don't know how your money is being spent on a day-to-day -day basis, it's easy for your finances to get out of control. But by doing the simple task of tracking your expenses, you can make sure that you stay in control of your money. And that doesn't matter how much money you have coming in. What matters is how you're spending that money and how much of it is going out. And the only way you're gonna know how to do that is to track and monitor your expenses. It's a simple task that we often overlook, but it's a fundamental thing that we've got to put in place in our everyday lives so that we can manage the money that we have at our disposal. So track those expenses. It doesn't matter how you track it. The most important thing is that you're actually tracking it. That can be on a regular sheet of paper, or you can use a personal finance app. No matter the way you do it, the important thing is just to do it. All right, the next point is you've gotta stay on a budget. Make sure that you've put together a budget and you're staying on that budget and you're being diligent about sticking to that budget. These times more than any, it's important for you to make sure that you are you have a good foundational budget plan. Now, I know, I know, people are gonna hear the word budget and they're gonna say, no way, I don't wanna be on a budget. I feel like you're restricting me. You're tying my hands and now I can't spend it, my money. I worked so hard for this money and I can't spend it because I'm on a budget. That's not what I'm saying here. A budget is simply a spending plan that lets you tell your money where to go before you actually get it every month. And by doing that, you hold the reins to your personal finances. You're the one that gets to say, this is how I wanna spend my money on the things that are most important to you. What generally ends up happening when we don't have a budget is that our money gets spent on things that we have no idea that we've spent them on because we buy impulsively. I wanna sway you away from buying impulsively, especially during a time like this when things are so uncertain. The most important thing that we can be doing at this point in time is tracking our expenses and budgeting them so that we can tell our money where to go 
before the month begins. And finally, the third thing I wanna remind you of is to pay yourself first. I know we've talked about these things before in other videos, but I want to continue to keep on your forefront to pay yourself first. You see, it gets frustrating when you work so hard and you don't have money to show for the hard work that you've put in on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, when you pay yourself first and set aside money to make sure it goes to you for savings or investing, then you have something to show for the hard work that you've put in on a day-to-day -day basis. And when you do this first, instead of it being the leftovers, then you are prioritizing you and you happen to be your most valuable asset. So make sure that you're paying yourself first. It doesn't matter if it's a percentage of your pay or if it's a flat dollar amount. Whatever you can afford, whatever you can carve out of your budget, make sure that you're setting that aside before you pay your other bills automatically each month or each paycheck so that you can have something to show for the work that you've put in so diligently on a day-to-day -day basis. Pay yourself first, it's important, very important. And, and finally, I wanna leave you with a little bit of encouragement. And he, here's the encouragement. It, it's actually probably a, a bonus tip, a, a tip number four, I should say. But but it's, it's encouragement because I think this is what helps us to stay motivated to continue to fight through challenging times like this. But the next thing or the, the last thing that I wanna leave you with is to make sure that you know where you're going What's your goal? What's your goal for the next year or the next uh, six months even, or three years, five years, 10 years down the road? Where are you heading? What's your desired outcome for being so diligent with monitoring your personal finances? When you can define that clearly and really know what you're aiming toward, it can help to motivate you to stay the course. Yeah, I'm the type of person who, I, I like to create vision boards. I, I've created several vision boards in my life and, and it's interesting when you look back on those vision boards and see the things that you were able to accomplish. And the reason that you're able to accomplish them is that it's simply because you've taken the time to define what you want to accomplish and you have it in front of you on a day-to-day -day basis. So you're able to see that vision and know what you're going toward. That helps to keep you motivated and helps to give some tangible uh, understanding or a tangible outcome to the hard work that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So I encourage you today to, to take some time out Turn off the news, get off social media. I said that before. Tune out on Netflix uh, and uh, just sit down and determine what's my goal? What's my outcome? Really, what am I working so hard to accomplish? It can't just be mere survival. It's gotta be something more than that. It's gotta be, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming toward wanting to buy a house so that I can give shelter, to my family, and not just any house, but I want my dream house. And what does that dream house look like? Describe it in detail. Uh, go cut out a picture. I'll, I'll have to show you. Before I got into the house that I am in today, I had a picture of this house, and I put it up on my vision board, and it was well before we could even afford this house. And now we're, we're living in it. And that's the power of being able to put it out in front of you and really understanding no what your goals are and what you're trying to accomplish. That's the power of it. So I wanna challenge you to do those four things. I said three things at the beginning of this video, but I wanna challenge you to do those four things. Set aside some time, cut off the troubles of the world around you today and carve out some time to really do these four things. Track your expenses, create a budget, live on that budget, pay yourself first, and then create a vision for your life. Where do you want to be? I challenge you. Where do you want to be in the next six months? Don't think about where society is today. Don't think about where you are today. Think about where you want to be in the next six months or one year. Write that vision down. Put it up on a vision board and watch how you're able to gravitate toward that goal. Watch how much more diligent you can be toward monitoring your personal finances when you have something that you're really striving.
to accomplish. I hope that helps you today. I really hope that that motivates you a little bit to, to, to stay the course and to uh, focus on your personal finances, drown out the troubles of the world around you, and really make sure that you're keeping and putting your house in order. Hopefully that helps. If it does, please, again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give me a like, comment. I love to know what your vision is. I love to know what your goal is. It'll help me to cheer you along on this journey. Leave me a comment below letting me know this is my vision. I dream of being debt free in the next year. I dream of owning a house in the next year. I dream of starting my own business in the next year. Whatever it is, I wanna cheer you along on that journey. So leave a comment below. Until next time, you keep living on purpose, pursue your passion, and get the gold.